There's a Taurus here as well. A Seven of Cups, Virgo. You're about to have a lot of people uh, coming into your life, like wanting love, wanting romance, intimacy, everything. Nothing's off the table here. Chariot, like you, you're going places, okay? It's about to be a war for your heart, okay? May, may the odds forever be in their favor, okay? Who's gonna capture Virgo's heart? Before I move further into the read, I just gotta say something to y'all. Resist a Virgo. Somebody here's gonna propose to you, and they only wanna hear yes from you. Hello Virgo, how are you? Welcome back to the channel, Starseed's Eye here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is What's the Tea? It is a general read. Take what resonates, sleep with those behind. Crosswatchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support, and with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guidance and three for my Virgos. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. So Virgo, my Virgos, what do we have for you? Wow, Jupiter, Sagittarius energy. Temperance and the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter in transit, Leo on the side, Strength and the Sun on the side, the Sun energy. Then we have number four, the Emperor, Aries, Mars in transit, Sharia at the bottom. Wow, the Sun, this is incredible. You guys are about to meet somebody. It's either a Cancer, Leo, or Scorpio. It's a lot of water here, though. Judgment, Ace of Cups. That card. Hierophant. The Seven of Cups. Virgo, you're about to have a lot of people uh, coming into your life. Like, wanting love, wanting romance, intimacy, everything. Nothing's off the table here. Yep, the star. Five of Pentacles. King of Cups. Um, somebody here is definitely like... Okay, so what I'm getting... Somebody here definitely wants to fight for you. But I'm also get getting, excuse me, that there's another energy here other energies can you clarify this five of pentacles queen of wands is a fire sign or an aquarius there's a leo there's an aquarius there's a taurus and then there's another person that you have history with that's either a scorpio leo cancer could be capricorn or gemini it's like you have four to five people here this is like a literal war over your heart but is somebody here that's younger than you I don't know if you're seeing this person at, like, the gym. Because notice, notice she has biceps. She has muscle. So I don't know if this is, like, somebody at the gym that you're, like, seeing. Or if this is at, like, some type of fighting class. Like, it could be kickboxing or Muay Thai. Or just a regular boxing class. Like, it's something here. Like, some of you... It's someone here you're crossing paths with. And it's going to be really awkward. I don't know why. I, like, I, I feel tension. Like, you can tell, like, you're both attracted to each other. So then you're going to try to avoid each other. That type of energy. Like, oh, they're over there. Let me avoid them. Let me walk somewhere else. But they're going to do the same when they see you standing somewhere. Like, if this is the gym, they see you working out in that corner and they're walking over there. But then they realize you're there. They're going to turn away and walk somewhere else. You're going to notice it. 
and then you're going to notice that you're trying to keep your distance from them as well. This is a younger individual, but this is new energy. But it... The Five of Pentacles, I don't, I don't know. It's a very sexual energy. This Queen of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Like these people are about to go in the house. He has his arm wrapped around her. Then you have the star here in Aquarius. Let's see who these people are. For Virgo, I gotta say something. Like Before I move further into the read, I just gotta say something to y'all. Okay? And I don't know how you're going to feel about this. But whatever you need to do while you're still single, okay, because I'm getting the majority of you are still single, whatever you can do while you're single, do that now. Because you, it's very much aligning to you being in a long-term relationship or a situationship or a friend with benefits, whatever it may be, you know, everything here is on the table. It's a variety of Virgos that are watching, okay? Not every part will apply to everybody. But it's a lot here that's on the table. And you're about to be in communication with different people, different suitors, okay, are going to be there messaging you and wanting to see where things can go with you, okay? Whether that be a romantic sense or an intimate sense, whatever it may be, there's going to be people, okay? It's about to be a war for your heart. Okay, may, may the odds forever be in their favor, okay? Who's going to capture Virgo's heart? And I feel like, Virgo, I'm going to be honest, I feel like you could have been, like, over love, just done with that, like, just wanting to get your money, get your bag. But I feel, it's something here, I feel like quite a few of my Virgos, you're actually rich or you have a lot of money, something like that. Or you got, uh, you know, you started a new business and it picked up, so now your money is good and now it's like... You can buy whatever you want, but you're bored or like you just got a job and it's paying good or you're working two jobs and you're stacking that bread. And it's like, yeah, it's great. You you got the money, but it's this energy of feeling bored, right? Your friends, they have significant others, a lot of them. So when you want to hang out, sometimes they can't hang out. Uh, your family, right? A lot of them are in relationship or they have boyfriend, they have girlfriend, so you can't hang out with them. Your parents, they might be seeing somebody new, okay? Your single parents, right? If you live with your parents or your, uh, if they're already married, right? They're going to be spending more time together. So then it's like, you're kind of like the odd one left out here, right? The spirit is about to shuffle these energies in. So, you have somebody young here. I feel like it's a young Aries. Could be a younger Leo. Then you have an Aquarius here. Let's talk about this Aquarius. Let's get... Let's get character stuff here. What's going on with this Aquarius? Gambler, diviner. Somebody that's spiritual. We also have friend here, Okay. So, this Aquarius coming into your life, right? There's somebody that has money, okay? You see all the money around this individual. Well, the chips, the cards, right? But this individual could also read tarot, okay? They could be running their own tarot business as well, okay? Um, they have a pet dog for a lot of you, okay? I'm getting that a lot of you, you're either going to meet this individual at the casino or at the club, or you're going to meet this individual at a dog park or a park. Um, it doesn't even have to be a dog park. It can just be a park and they're walking their dog, okay? Um, this individual is either Aquarius. They could be Pisces. I feel like they're three to four years younger than you. Some of you could be older, but I feel like they're younger. There's a Taurus here as well. Tell me about this Taurus. Whoa, all these cards want to pop out. Okay. Wow. This Taurus is crazy. Employee king. So they're the manager or they run their own business. Hunter. This Taurus, uh, they seem to be some type of psychic, civil servant, and learner. So they're going to school for something here. They could be a teacher for others. They could be the uh, government agent. 
but I feel like they have a lot of independence and they have a lot of people that work under them with this employee card. This individual could literally be working for the FBI and they could have been assigned to uh, wash you, Virgo. So that's that, the Taurus. This read turned into a love read. This younger Aries, can you tell me about this young Aries? Father, mother, they still live with their parents, okay? <laughs> Magician, yep, young, I told y'all they're young. I told y'all and they're a fire sign. What about this, uh... This King of Cups, this King of Cups has a lot of love for you. Captain, homeless, the driver. Somebody made the wrong decision. And now all the chaos is about to unfold in your love life. You have a Taurus here. This, this, the Taurus could, because King is here, the Taurus could actually be famous, is what I'm getting here. This Taurus is famous, y'all. And they're really, they got to where they are because they're very unorthodox with their approach. Or they're very well known in their industry, their career, right? Then you have the Aquarius here. You have this younger Aries energy that's about to come in that you're about to meet, okay? Could be a younger Leo, but for a lot of you, it's an Aries. For some of you, it's both a Leo and an Aries. And then this is the bread of this read because... Is somebody here coming back to you homeless? I've been saying, I said it once and I'll say it again. A lot of these counterparts that failed their contract, they're going to come back to their true counterparts homeless. A lot of people don't like this, but it's the truth. It's the truth, you know? A lot of people are waiting for a true DM or DF, but our original DMs, DFs, they got lost for a lot of us. So here they come, okay? If I had to say, this read is nuts because, like, what on earth, Virgo? This, this, like, what are y'all gonna do? Look at this. Look at what you're gonna be dealing with. Look at all of this that you're about to be dealing with. I don't know what you're gonna do. That. <laughs> Because it's too much. Even, uh, even I'm like all over the place in this raid. Give me a moment. Hold on. Okay, so you're going to have to decide what you want to do. If you wish to remain single, if you wish to interact. But somebody here is definitely coming back to you homeless, okay? Um, this is somebody that always loved you, but they always held back their feelings. They want to be able to celebrate with you. However, I feel like you're looking over here this way. And they're the ones that are looking back over to you. So I feel like you're not interested in this individual. Is something here like there's a blockage. However, needless to say, this individual is going to approach you. For a lot of you, this is going to happen within the next three weeks. Some of you are already being approached by this individual right now. Like if they're following you with a fake account on social media, then that means they already came into your life. They're just not initiating contact just yet, right? Like some people think they're in separation with their person, but if your person is following you from fake account, then you're not in separation with them. They just want you to be the one to initiate, okay? A lot of times, that's how they be like. They want you to initiate, right? They want you to be the one to make the first move, but you're not making any move. And eventually, this individual is going to crack. I see the Chariot, the Sun, Judgment, Ace of Cups. Some of you are getting a new card. And right away, this could be like being delivered to your door. This could be a Tesla. Some of you a BMW. This could be a Jeep for some. Okay, a Mustang. Tesla. Okay, but you know, people people here are getting cars delivered to their door. Virgo, it seems to me you're going to be one of them. There's going to be an explosion here of wealth and abundance, judgment, and the sun. Chariot. Like you, you're going places. Um, a lot of people, Virgo, I feel like these are just the main energies, but I feel like there's even more that are going to be coming to you. And it's because like people see your energy, right? 2024 and onward. It's not about what we have. It's about our energy. 
and your energy is one that can move mountains it's like you make the impossible possible that's what these people are saying so a lot of people and not just these in the read but even more are going to start popping up in your life wanting right to if they can't get with you they at least want to collaborate with you right they at least want to have some type of work or business thing going with you right podcast yep nine of cups eight of pentacles virgo you have your wish fulfillment coming true but this is what i'm saying like some of you already have money or your money is you know your money situation is doing good but the only thing you're missing is love like that's what i'm getting for some of you moon a lot of you work at night or you work all day into the night like that's all you do is work 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 you're a bit of a workaholic this season virgo hangman five of pentacles damn somebody here sacrificed the connection between you and them and now they're this is that homeless energy three of swords and the devil y'all they came to me through telepathy and were communicating to me that they needed ten dollars this morning i'm not even kidding i would i wish i could make this up but they were communicating to me telling me is there any way you can venmo me ten dollars through the telepathic communication now they do have a venmo account i actually researched and stalked yes i did and i found that they had actually have a venmo account which i never knew and you know damn well if i sent that ten dollars they would have took that ish after three years don't call attack eight of cups oh my goodness ten of wands unbelievable i don't know what you guys are gonna do like i i truly don't know i feel like it's just gonna be overwhelming and the seven of swords page of swords it's a lot of people here that are gonna want to sleep with you four of swords and the ten of pentacles yeah there's an interruption this read is this is a mess i'm sorry i bombed this read y'all i'm i'm sorry i'm gonna be honest you can you can comment it below you know just be honest with me i bombed this read i'm all over the place in this read this is too many energies even for me to handle let's let's look at this romeo and juliet friar lawrence wise trustworthy caring optimistic Prince Aeschylus. Protection, kindness, undertake. Oh my. Betray. Diversions, different values, change of heart, thought manipulation. Yeah, somebody that betrayed you, that's the biggest thing. And I feel like that's why they're ending up homeless. Because people can't do a Virgo dirty and not expect to face some type of karma. Right? Virgo's when we look at virgos they represent royalty but also they're very critical analytical it's like they're the perfectionist right we have a lot of nice things because of signs like virgo taurus uh you know capricorn on on some level leo as well but virgos right they can be very critical and sometimes we need that eager is here immediate action seeking help somebody here's going to take action towards you because they need help they need help but they're spending all their money drinking distilling liquor capulet father fatherly love controlling dogmatism and forced marriage resisting virgo somebody here's going to propose to you and they only want to hear yes from you that's all i gotta say you might want to be you might not want to be alone with this person because if you say no, I'm afraid of how they may react. So that's your read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you love and light. Take care.